Hi everyone, I'm Jillian Wisbor, holistic nutritionist and iridologist, and I'm here today with Brian Hardy, who is a biohacker and holistic nutritionist. And we're going to speak today about some topics that I know nothing about, but I'm really looking forward to learning a little bit more. Yeah, so before we pop this on, we were just getting into, you know, the various technologies um, for helping to create healing environments, mm -hmm. right? I'm very much of the opinion that when we can create the environment for health to take place and for healing to take place, that it's really, you know, um, the only thing that can take place in a sense. And so when we're talking about environment, I'm talking, you know, everything from the cell to, you know, Wi-Fi to air quality to water quality um, to our thoughts, our emotions, the people we're around, the company we keep. Um, of course, you know, the foods that, and, and the, the water and the nutrition that feeds ourselves, all of that is encompassed in the environment when I'm, you know, using that term. And, uh, you know, living in modern cities is quite a destructive um, and quite a, how to say, degenerative environment, I would say, for most people. Um, if they're defaulting to, you know, convenience foods, and have however many you know signals going around their space, cell phone that they're maybe not putting on airplane mode at night. They might be watching TV until late at night without blocking the blue light from their eyes. So there's all these different things that are going on that um, we can totally mitigate or transform the effects. Okay, so what you're saying is that like things like TV or Wi-Fi or cell phones, they're posing an environmental uh, health concern or like a weight per se. And that there's certain things that they're doing that on a day-to-day -day basis we are unknowingly exposing ourselves to harmful influences that are having an impact on our bodies whether yes. we realize it or not because even just to touch on something like airplane mode mm -hmm. airplane mode is the setting that we usually use when we're strictly on an airplane and what it does is it prevents the radiation from the cell phone from reaching outwards so that the plane is able to pick up on its own gps signals Am I correct in saying that? I think that's essentially why it was developed, yeah, you know, because you don't want inner communication between passengers and the flight controls and all that. Um, but, like, hmm. it just blows my mind when people aren't in the habit of always putting their phone in airplane mode before bed, right? Even if they're keeping it in their bedroom, that's a whole other topic, but at least put it on airplane mode and keep it, like, a few feet away, right? You're using it as an alarm. Most people use their phone as an alarm. Um, so it's a simple thing, but you will notice an improvement in sleep quality and I mean you're just getting less um, Radiation so right? what does radiation have to do with health or having like a negative impact because as far as I've uh, Been exposed to there's radiation actually everywhere including you know with these plants that are right here and the grass outside and the mm -hmm. Sun is like one of the you know main sources of radiation period mm -hmm. so how is it that we have this, like, there's, there's radiation? Is radiation not just radiation? Yes, exactly. You have to di uh, di differentiate between qualities and types. Cool. Right? The same thing with food. It's like meat is not just meat, mm -hmm. right? There's everything from grass-fed, organic, wild-caught, and then you have factory-farmed. Two completely different animals, two completely different outcomes of health for someone who ingests that. Right. So similarly with EMFs, you have something called non-native EMFs which are exactly how it sounds. They've been created by humans and they are not present in the quote unquote natural world, hmm. right? Whereas we have the Schumann resonance of the earth. What's which, the Schumann re resonance? I think it's 7.8 Hertz. So that's like the earth's uh, sort of magnetic field resonance. Uh -huh. It's very healing. That's why grounding and earthing are so great for us because it puts us in contact you know, your bare feet on the earth puts you in direct contact with that healing uh, frequency. So you're saying something as simple as like taking off your shoes, being barefoot in the grass, there's a name for that. And you call that earthing? Earthing. Cool. Yeah. Cool. Yeah. I have heard about that before, but just for the audience. Yeah, no, exactly. That's familiar, the thing. Right? I forget, right? Because we live in a bubble, right? We live in the health bubble. Mm -hmm. And it's all about Both expanding that bubble, right? That's why we're doing this. Um, but to get back to non-native EMF, so... There's a lot of low, nature tends to have low frequencies, right? The human mm. physiology likes low frequencies. Our huh. brain likes it. It helps us to be in that relaxation, digestion, parasympathetic activation space. Right. Um, but in the modern day, we have all sorts of very, very, very high frequencies. Whether we're talking about microwaves, which are on a gigahertz, uh -huh. right? Um, 
and I believe that's like a giga, what's that, a million hertz or a billion hertz. It's a lot. It's a very high frequency. Mm -hmm. So the earth is like seven to eight hertz. Mm -hmm. your, your cordless phone or microwave is like 2.4 billion hertz. Wow. Right. Wow. So our our physiology, and Radiation we know, yeah, we know this causes cell damage. We know this causes DNA damage. We know this contributes to cancers. Like it's pro it's in the science. People oftentimes, especially in North America, don't want to look at that because mm. we love our devices. Mm hmm My cell phone's so useful. I know, right? Yeah. You have all this information, all these people you can reach out to. I mean, that's how we connected, right? So this morning. <laughs> yeah. So yep. not to say that we need to be anti-technology. Mm -hmm. um, but we need to be aware of the risk that is inherent in these devices. Mm -hmm. And by having home devices that can, that can create uh, similar frequencies to what we find in nature, mm -hmm. we can offset, right? So for instance, if you have a, your, your bed and beside your bed is a Wi-Fi router, maybe you have a cordless phone, mm -hmm. you know, you've got these various sources. You might have dirty electricity running through the walls. Dirty got, electricity? Yeah, so it's like uninsulated electricity uh, mm -hmm. um, that again causes cancer directly, right? Super directly. Wow. That's why you don't want to live near power lines. Wow. Um, yeah, and I mean, if this is going off the deep end for y'all, don't worry about it. Don't freak out. But uh, this is just the way I you know, see things and I've come to you know, understand health. Mm -hmm. And um, so if you have that scenario, but you have something like a biomass which is an amethyst and tourmaline crystal mat that also prevents, uh, emits far infrared radiation. Uh -huh. Being on that thing is like putting yourself in a protective space because the frequencies and the harmonization effect of those crystals is gonna offset the uh, unharmonious destructive signals coming from the Wi-Fi or coming from your cordless phone or whatever mm -hmm. it is, right? And healing and, you know, uh, the human being, life in general, is at its core, it's sort of, it's, it's not as much, it's not, this is a tricky one, it's not as much biochemical at the foundation as it is electromagnetic. Totally. Right? So if we can harmonize the electromagnetism huh. of the body, yep. the biochemical tends to take care of itself. Cool. And so the only way we can do that, one of the best ways we can do that is just direct time in nature. Right? right? That's why you feel so good. I mean, there's a lot of things going on if you're like walking through a forest, but it's one of the reasons why it feels mm. so good is to be away from all of the signals that are super, super high. And we were talking about, you know, 5G. Yeah. Because 4G is the highest that our phones go to currently, right? And 4, 4 gigahertz. gigahertz. Okay. So 5 will be 5 gigahertz, but it's not a linear mm. scale, it's an exponential scale. Mm -hmm. So it's not like, you know, plus one, it's like multiplied by a thousand. Oh gosh, okay, okay, yeah. okay. So when that rolls out, I mean, we already have the epidemics of autoimmunity, um, cancers getting up there, um, but really autoimmunity is what I see the most. So many mm -hmm. conditions, whether it's the thyroid, whether it's the digestive tract, whether it's mm -hmm. uh, you know type one diabetes, or rheumatoid arthritis, whatever it is, it's very, very prevalent. And all of these are, I believe, directly linked to the amount of non-native EMF that we're being hit with. Right. It's compromising the integrity of our cells, compromising our electromagnetism, wow. and leaving us more susceptible for degenerative disease. Hmm. Yeah. That's a lot that people are actually going to be taking on then with this, with this raise to the 5G, 5 gigahertz. And this is going to happen with all of our cell phones then, like all the the next upcoming wave of that's, technology that we're going to be getting. Yeah, that's what I'm. T that's what mm. I've heard. Um, and I don't know if it'll be like sort of like all across Canada or just in a few centers in the states first. Mm -hmm. I don't even know if it's actively being used in any locations. I mean, they, t they typically start in like you know San Francisco or California. Those are the places that usually start these things. Yeah. Um, but then you know we follow suit. And this is also. Uh, so it's not just a change in the cell phone devices, would it also be a change in the communication networks? Yeah, so the actual towers themselves, right, will be transmitting that level of signal. Ah. Right? So, so it's it coming will from go both. up too. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. Um, so it's interesting. And for anyone who's, 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 you know, has their interest peaked from this, um, someone who is very polarizing but is a, is a real expert in all this is a guy named Dr. Jack Cruz. Mm -hmm. That's K-R-U-S-E, and he's a neurosurgeon, 
and uh, he talks all about how to protect ourselves from this, how damaging it is going to be when this happens, um, and mm -hmm. why diet and nutrition are a foundational piece, but they're not the be-all, end-all when it comes to health. Because mm -hmm. you can eat the best food ever, mm -hmm. but if your sleep is messed up and your circadian rhythm, which is intimately connected to all this radiation, if that's thrown off, then good luck you know, feeling well and having energy mm. and functioning at the level that you're capable of. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And I can speak to the EMF sensitivity as that's one really big reason why I even got into herbal medicine mm. was uh, I was going to nutrition school in Mississauga and I remember experiencing these like throbbing headaches every time I would go into Mississauga and come back and it wasn't at first so I was doing school and going every day mm. and about uh, a few weeks into going to school it was like I felt like I was getting really sick. Mm. And, you know, I'm eating a totally non-processed food diet, making pretty much all my meals myself, and I was feeling really yucky. Mm. And I came across by accident the name of this one herb called Fotai or Foti, mm. also known as Hishuwu. So this herb is a, a Chinese herb that's been prized as a really powerful adaptogenic herb for thousands of years. And when I was reading about it, I found out that it was really great for growing hair. So I'm a female, I like to look into these things. So I start taking this herb and I did one full teaspoon of a really high quality Hishu Wu. So this means when I say high quality, I mean it was aged the right amount of time, which mm. some herbs, especially adaptogenic herbs, they need to be aged, especially like ginseng, to give all the said potencies or all the said benefits that are found in texts. Mm. So I got a really high quality Hishu Wu that was properly prepared with the black bean juice. And when I took a teaspoon of it, I remember the next day getting on the bus, headed to classes, and when I go to head back, it's like there's no headache. Yeah, just really looking at the environment, right? Looking at the environment, and we're seeing that already in terms of the trends, right? Everyone wants things on demand and at home. Whether it's mm -hmm. Uber Eats, you want your food delivered to you, it's Netflix, you don't want to go see a movie, you want it to come to you. Mm -hmm. um, it is... Um, I mean everything pretty much, not everything, but a lot of things. You can even get personal trainers will come to your house, you get massage therapists will come to your house. Uh, whatever it is, people want it to be easy to, to access um, and delivered to them. That's what I'm seeing a lot of. And you know, with that in mind, with health really shifting, I think health will shift from the doctor's office, which isn't really where health is anyways, that's more of like symptom management. But it'll shift from that and from people going to see doctors to them having um, their homes designed in such a way that it's a healing space to be in. Right. Yes. Right? It's like the whole, the whole thing, you know, health begins in the kitchen, right? Or health mm -hmm. begins at home, mm -hmm. which as nutritionists we know is, you know, very, very true, right? When people sort of take responsibility for feeding themselves and mm -hmm. doing so in a mindful way. Um, it really just you know opens the door for the rest of like the self care habits, rituals, whatever mm -hmm. to come in. And I can speak to that too. Like when I think of the ultimate, you know, even healthy space to have clients, like I mm -hmm. really do think of like a greenhouse, right? I think of a space where you have some fresh air, you've got sunshine, you have plants around you, you're calm. And that's like an ultimate environment because mm -hmm. there's more and more research to support like when you're in a theta state, right? When you're in like a relaxed, calm state, you can make decisions easier. Contrary to what people think, you don't need to have pressure to perform. Mm -hmm. you, you don't need to have that, but we create that structure usually because there's procrastination in the picture. I see it as you can win in all areas, it's just definitely about the setup. Mm -hmm. And what you're describing is something that I'm totally interested in. And I want to know, like, what would it look like for the modern day person to be still living within this opportunity of convenient communication, which is, you know, what it is. So mm -hmm. there's huge benefits to so many of us. I can't imagine getting rid of my cell phone at this point, not for my whole life, given how much benefit it is. So it's like, what are those tools that we could use? Let's say if we are even, we're not there yet. We're, we're you know, I don't. Maybe some people don't know what off-grid living is, right? Mm. That that's not even something in their vicinity. 
So what about for those people who maybe they do notice that they're stressed out, the pace is way too fast, mm -hmm. and they're getting some sort of health concerns that they're like, I don't know if it's just food. I think, you know, there might be an element of the technology and the screens and the lighting that are bothering me. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, the first one that I would start with is blocking blue light, right? And so you can do this by, they sell blue light blockers, right? These are like safety glasses essentially, or sunglasses that are amber lenses. So that after dark or a few hours before bed, you put those on and it prevents blue, literally this blue light from hitting your eyes. Huh. Because blue light, like the blue sky in the middle of the day, signals our body to be alert, to keep cortisol high, and to suppress melatonin. Hmm. And melatonin is the one of the most potent antioxidants, particularly for the brain. Um, it, it controls circadian rhythms or helps entrain circadian rhythms. So when we get tired, when we wake up, um, very anti-cancer. Um, and it is directly suppressed anytime blue light is hitting our eyes. So mm -hmm. white light, which contains blue light, like artificial you know, fluorescent tubes and things, those are all sources of blue light. Right. Uh, our screens, our phones, and it, it's a really easy way to mitigate because you can either just get the glasses and pop them on after dinner, or you can get free software, right? So there's software called huh. Flux for computers. Um, you can download and it will shift the color of your monitor to the red spectrum after dark. Same thing with your phone. And a lot of the phones now have blue light filters built in, which is kind of cool. So you just keep, uh, you know, click that on. And I keep it on all the time, pretty much, unless I'm doing color sensitive work. Um, but yeah, blocking blue light is super super essential and you feel it and if people are struggling with insomnia uh people are struggling with just you know feeling burnt out and overstimulated all the time mm -hmm. that's mm -hmm. like where i start everybody wow yeah okay yeah so that's like the the number one light thing you can do um and another thing would be either making time throughout the day to make sure you are getting outside and getting grounded right getting your skin on the earth you know hugging a tree just leaning up against a tree um, all those things to help, again, bring us into that more natural vibration. But you can do so from within your house as well. Mm -hmm. So they sell mats and mouse pads and bed sheets and uh, little pads that are all grounded. That as long as your electricity in your home is grounded, you just plug it in to the bottom prong there. Plug it in and then that is electrically equivalent to being outside on the earth. Huh. So, um, now when you say that electricity has to be grounded, this is going back to what we were speaking about earlier, where you want to make sure that it's, um, like, n it's properly f held electricity, or it's yeah, not... Yeah, um, so, it's, it's so, that, so that your body is able to discharge, mm -hmm. right? Because the earth is essentially a giant source of free uh, antioxidants. Cool! Right, in the form of negative ions. I've never heard that in my life. That's amazing. Can you say that again? Yeah. So the earth oh. is literally a giant sort of infinite source of free antioxidants or negative ions. Huh. So literally just walking barefoot on the earth mm -hmm. is flooding your body with beneficial electro particles, electric uh -huh. particles and getting rid of the excess. That's the most important thing is to getting rid of the excess positive charges that cause oxidative damage. That is what's, what's happening. It's why it feels so good, especially mm -hmm. like walking through salt water on a mm -hmm. beach. That's you're super grounded then, right? Because wow. the conductivity of the water and the salt. Um, and so recognizing that and recognizing that all life is adapted to be on the earth. Right. Right? Us included. We're not adapted. As much as I love buildings and structures and cars and all these things, we're not adapted to be in them for such a long period of time. Mm -hmm. Right? And have that connection cut off. Right? We're in rubber tires on the road in our cars, which aren't conductive. We have rubber soles on the bottom of our shoes, which aren't conductive. Um, and so you really have to be barefoot either on concrete, which is conductive, not asphalt, um, or hmm. so, so sand, soil, dirt, grass. You know, wood is not conductive, so uh -huh. walking on wood is not going to ground you. But hmm. um, yeah, it makes a huge difference. It makes a huge difference. And then, like I said, there's a great book called Earthing. And they've done scientific studies. Uh, they had the Tour de France men's team for the USA sleeping in grounded sleeping bags every night because they improved their recovery. Uh -huh. And I feel this myself every night. Like cool. I've, I've had a sheet for uh, five years now, I think. 
So where uh, would we like get these tools? Like you talked about, you know, the um, the different mats that you plug in. Even mm -hmm. where do you get these kinds of tools? Yeah, these if, you, from? if you go on Amazon, if you go, there's a uh, earthingcanada.com, I believe. Um, Amazon carries their stuff as well. Mm. You just Google earthing mat, earthing uh, bed sheet, earthing strap, whatever it is, mm. you'll you'll find plenty of plenty of resources. Cool. I'm so about that. I want that crystal mat. Well, the biomat, yeah, and that's like its own thing. Um, mm -hmm. Definitely uh, an investment, but definitely something uh, very, very powerful. Um, and they actually used those and studied them in Japan for treating cancer. You literally wow. cook the cancer out of people. What? Yeah, you lie between two biomats and just make yourself really hot and sweaty, and your tumors will shrink. Yeah, it's simple, right? Health did not have to be so complicated. Um, but people just aren't aware of this stuff, right? Never heard about that in my life. That's amazing. Yeah. Shoot. Yeah. And I mean, okay. any healing, any healing. If you feel ill, if you have, uh, I mean, cancer is one specific thing. Uh, infections, right? A lot of parasites, pathogens aren't heat tolerant. Mm -hmm. um, so I'm a big, big fan of infrared light. The whole spectrum, if you can get it. Far is good. That's what a biomat is. Near is good. Mid is good. Um, but infrared radiation, mm -hmm. like we get from a fire, like we get from the sun, mm -hmm. incredibly healing, wow. incredibly healing. Cool. Thanks so much for sharing. This has been so enlightening. I'm blown away. <laughs> I've learned so, so much from you. Brian, that was great. Thank you so much for coming. Well, thank you for having me and thank you for listening. And, um, yeah, you know, this is, uh, this is the environment we find ourselves in mm -hmm. and we need to arm ourselves with the knowledge mm -hmm. and the tools that are going to keep us, you know, not just getting by, but thriving mm -hmm. and feeling great. Amazing. And you have a website too? Yeah. So you can find me at brianhardy.ca. Uh, also Facebook and Instagram, Brian Hardy. You'll find me on there. Um, Instagram is brianhardy7. Um, and then my podcast is called Redefining Reality, um, which you can find in iTunes or Stitcher or any of those places. So if this hit a chord with you, if you want to learn more, check that those links out. We'll link it um, just below here at the at the bottom. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And yeah, thank you for watching and thank you for creating the space to, to record and share. Awesome. Thanks so much, guys.